Hello Aries, welcome to your reading for the month of August of 2023. We'll get some shuffles here and see what's going on for the month of August. We just had the new moon in Cancer on the 17th and the lunar nodes also changed from Taurus and Scorpio to Aries and Libra. Meaning, uh, you may be looking at uh, what's going on as far as being in a relationship versus being independent goes and seeing the value in both. And being that you're an airy son, this could affect you more. Um, I would say that it's favorable for you as far as astrology goes. What's going on for my Aries for July? I'm sorry, it's July right now. Rather, August of 2023. And this could be your Aries sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. A couple of cards flew right out of the deck. I will see what those are. So we've got the King of Wands in the reverse along with the Magician. So I feel like maybe some of you have lost your motivation and even lost your temper recently. And because you're in that magician energy, you are resourceful. You have everything that you need and you've been telling yourself, I am abundant, I have everything all together. It's just a matter of pulling your resources together and making it happen. I think the biggest thought in your mind, Aries, is, is crap. How am I going to do this? How am I going to fix this? And you do have the power within yourself, Aries. And right out of the bottom of the deck for overall energy, we also have the King of Pentacles. So I think the main thing on your mind right now is a work situation or a financial situation, possibly your health, but I'm thinking that it's more financial for you. What else do we have going on for my Aries for August of 2023? Ooh, that flew right hot off the press there. We'll read that. Mm-hmm. So we've got the Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, I feel like you know that you need to move on from your current job. Uh, something's blocking you. Something's preventing you from moving on. This could be talking about a relationship, but I'm getting more of the vibe that it has to do with your work, with your job. Um, you've outgrown your position with where you are, maybe outgrown your environment and or the place. So now you're thinking of, you know, what do I do next? You know that you have the ability within you, but it's a matter of putting a game plan together. And what is blocking my Aries right now? Hmm, the Seven of Swords. So somebody that you could be dealing with in the workplace, um, most likely work, could be romance. So the Seven of Swords energy is very, very deceptive energy. You're dealing with a snaky person that, you know, held back a lot of information from you that you should have been privy to for whatever reason. Um, information and the truth is being hidden from you by a person or even a corporation. Um, you're being left in the dark for some reason and possibly being taken advantage of. And what are, what is the goal for my Aries or what is Aries afraid of right now? So we've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You're afraid to let your guard down. You're afraid to show all your cards, Aries. Yeah, because you do not trust this person. You don't trust this situation. What happened in the distant past that's the root of all of this? Yep, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. That talks about the feeling of being left out in the cold um, or left in the dark. That's exactly right. You feel like you've been left in the dark in a situation and you're ready to move on. You don't need a thousand percent of the truth to move on from the situation. You've been shown enough to know that it's time to be done, that it's time to move on. Don't rush yourself, Aries. Be strategic in, you know, in your further actions. Um, you know, it's a matter of putting the plan together and, you know, putting out the blueprint, the game plan for your next move. What happened in the recent past for my Aries? 
So we've got the strength card in the reverse. Yeah, somebody was holding back. Someone was withholding information from you. And you've also felt like you're not strong enough to do this and almost feeling a little insecure with yourselves. Um, most Aries won't admit that they're feeling insecure about anything. <laughs> Just saying. Um, that could be Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I'm not saying you guys are cocky, but... Aries always wants to stay the strong one that feels like they're in charge, and you usually are in charge. And it's really tough to admit defeat for Aries, that's for sure. And what's over the horizon for my Aries? So we've got the Six of Cups, so that talks about childhood nostalgia. Maybe somebody from your past could be a past employer, could be a friend from back in the day. I feel like somebody has, a, like, maybe some job leads, possibly. Um, or you could be reconnecting with somebody from your past. The Six of Cups also talks about soulmate energy. A lot of you might not be worried about a love situation, Aries, because you feel like you already have met your soulmate, and you don't really need to ask the cards about that. You feel like you've got it together as far as your love situation goes. Take what resonates. Some of you might be laughing at me and saying, ha yeah, right. You know, it might not be your story. And the position that you're currently in, Aries, is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. A lot of you have been blind to the truth for a long time because things have been hidden from you. The blindfold's coming off. The sword is cutting through that blindfold so that you've got some more clarity on the situation. That's you right now. That is what you're currently dealing with. And what represents the person or people that my Aries are dealing with? So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this could be talking about a fixed sign. So fixed signs are Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. You could be dealing with someone with any of those signs that's significant in their chart or, you know, and it doesn't have to be, but you're dealing with a very stubborn, does not budge type of energy. You know that it's a dead end. You know that it's not going anywhere and you're just trying to think of what to do next. So that is the representation of what, you know, the people around you are. And what actions is this person going to take towards my Aries if dealing with the person, if it applies? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, they may offer you a raise or more compensation when you've already decided that it's not worth it and it's too late. Or they're going to offer you a raise or offer you something that looks real good at first glance. But after you've done the math and analyzed everything, it's kind of really a joke to you, Aries. And, you know, you know your worth. You know where you stand. So, you know, I think that you're still going to continue to move forward with your next step. And you haven't figured out exactly what that is yet, but you're working on a plan of where to go next. Um, what is the outcome for my Aries? So we've got the Justice card in the reverse. I think when you do leave this situation, you're going to catch a lot of hell for it. People are going to treat you unfairly. If it's a two weeks notice or a three months notice, whatever the notice in that you have to put in for this job situation for leaving, you may decide to quit before that time is up because they just end up pushing you to the point where you can't deal with it anymore and you know that the universe is gonna take care of you. I mean, don't just blindly leave with nothing lined up, but just keep your eyes out for more opportunities, you know, that kind of, I feel like it's all gonna come together and almost feels like it's gonna land right in your lap. You know, keep your eyes open for, you know, future job places that you hear about. If you hear about a place that uh, does business out of their establishment that's something that interests you or that matches totally what you know that you're good at and what you enjoy, you know, find a way to get in there, shop there, and, you know, see what they have and, you know, just to kind of put a face to the name kind of deal. I feel like you'll know it when it shows up. I'm going to get a couple of more cards for my Aries and see if there's further information that might bring clarity on this situation. So we've got the Four of Cups in the reverse. 
yeah, you're pretty bored with that whole situation and you feel like you're getting used and taken advantage of. Yup, and we've got the Five of Swords, so when you do try to leave, there is gonna be conflict. They are gonna blow smoke up your ass to try to get you to stay with false promises, or try to make something look real good, but mm -mm, no, my Aries knows that it isn't worth it. Well, Aries, I wish you the best of luck. I hope this all made sense for you. If this isn't your story and doesn't make any sense, don't try to force it to fit. Look at your other signs that are prominent in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Well, Aries, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great rest of uh, the month of August of 2023. Thank you for watching, Aries.